Ibrahim El Marashi is an associate professor of Middle East history at California State University, and he joins me now live from Madrid. Uh, welcome to the show, Ibrahim. Now, as a historian, what is your take on how the Kurds arrived at the point that they're at right now? Uh, you know, since the creation of the Iraqi state in 1920, the Kurds have always sought if not independence, vis-a-vis -vis the central government in Baghdad. The borders were formed more or less of these borders. And so in this case, this is the first time since the creation of Iraq that a vote has occurred where they're asking for independence. Okay, now why is the Iraqi government insisting it will not negotiate with the KRG? The trickiest issue is Kirkuk, and every single negotiation between the Kurds and the central government in Baghdad. So we're talking over the long term, whether it was the monarchy that was overthrown in the 50s, the Republican government that took over in the 50s. Uh, under Saddam Hussein, every negotiation has failed over Kirkuk. So I think it's a combination of knowing that this is a tricky issue to negotiate, and keep in mind, Iraq is having a national elections in uh, April of next year. So it's also, uh, you know, politicians are afraid of the votes they lose if they're the ones seen who have given up Kirkuk. Okay, now the KRG also controls much of Iraq's oil. How much of a factor is this in this current standoff? It's a huge factor that rarely is acknowledged. Uh, Kirkuk, uh, so of course the KRG says uh, it claims Kirkuk because it's an integral part of Kurdistan. Uh, the Iraqi government is loath to uh, negotiate over it because, of course, it's considered part of Iraq, has Turkmen, it has Arabs, but uh, in all of this, it's the issue of control over oil. It's really a battle of oil versus soil. Uh, so how might the Iraqi economy be, be affected by all of this uncertainty? Uh, well, there's always been uncertainty. It's just a continuity of it. Uh, the economy was affected by the uncertainty around the rise of ISIS. Just as uh, Iraq is defeating ISIS now, uh, there's uncertainty over this issue. So I think that uh, it's not going to make a difference. It's just a continuation of the same uncertainty plaguing the Iraqi economy. Ibrahim El Marashi, Associate Professor of Middle East History uh, in Madrid. Thank you very much indeed.